Hey guys, it's Ren from Makeup by Ren Ren, and if you want to see how to do this look, my celebrity inspired makeup tutorial featuring Mila Kunis's smoky cranberry eyes, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, I am back with another tutorial, and this is another segment of my celebrity inspired makeup tutorial series and I've been eyeing this picture for the longest time of Mila Kunis. Um, she's been in a lot of movies. She was on the 70s show. She was, um, she's the voice of Meg on Family Guy. She was recently in a lot of movies. One with Denzel. What's that movie called? Book of Eli. Yeah, she was in that movie. So I have been eyeing this look where her makeup artist created a look with a nice amount of color, which is unusual for celebrity makeup because a lot of times they go completely neutral. So she had um, like a look where she had a cranberry um, above the crease and the taupe, and it really made her eyes just pop. And it was just a really gorgeous and subtle yet bold look. So I've been wanting to do it for a really long time, so I decided to recreate it for you guys and kind of put my own flair on it. Um, I also put on some colored contacts. I don't know if you can see, to kind of just mix it up and she has light eyes. These are actually um, purple contacts, like a light, light, a light, light lilac, lilac color. So if you want to see where I got them, I'll put that information in the link below. But yeah, I wanted to, re to do that look. Um, and today I will be featuring Palladio Cosmetics. And you might be familiar with this brand. They are at Sally Beauty. You can find them at line, they, online. They sell them at like sometimes like at Walmart or Target. Like it's a very affordable drugstore line, but they have a great amount of products. And I recently had the opportunity to test out a lot of their products. And I was really excited because I was able to use all Palladio products in this look. And I think it came out really nicely. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to apply your eye base. I'm using NYX Skin Tone Eyeshadow Base. And just applying it all over with a, an Aveda Synthetic Concealer Brush. Next, I'm going to get a base color for my lid. I'm going to use the Palladio Eyeliner and Taupe. And this is going to give me a really nice color. Now I'm applying it to the entire eyelid. And it helps to put on top of that skin tone because it's um, making it more creamy. Look, uh, It applies more creamy. And then you can kind of like feather out the line. And then, in order to make it kind of shimmery, I'm going to go into my um, Baked Eyeshadow Trio by Palladio and just get this shimmery color right here using the Palladio Blender Brush. And I'm just going to pat it right on top. And it kind of gives it like a shimmery light taupe effect. Now what we're going to do is apply the crease color. And we're going to use this middle shade here and this Plums Bake Trio by Palladio. And I'm using a pencil brush. And I'm just going to get some on the pencil brush. And then I'm going to start carving out the crease. Okay. And then from there you can go ahead and blend it up. This is kind of the highlight of the look, having this color. And then keep reapplying because you want it to be deeper in your crease and then you want it to fade up. And then you can actually use that Palladio Blender Brush because it works really good at blending out lines. And then I, I'm going to dip the blending brush into that color and I'm just going to kind of pat it in. And then blending it out. Okay, it's a very, very simple look. It's just kind of like the combo is what makes it dramatic. I'm going to actually jump right into my eyebrows. I'm going to leave the brow bone bare because I want to keep it matte. And that way it 
kind of balances out all that shimmer. So I'm going to take the Palladio Brow Pencil in dark brown and I'm going to go ahead and outline my brow and fill it in. And that might seem like a really harsh line, but the good thing about this pencil brush, I mean this pencil, is it has a mascara wand on the end. So all you have to do is comb through it and you blend out that harsh line and it also helps to diffuse the color inside the brow so you're kind of filling it in at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to take black eyeliner and this is the Palladio Retractable one. And I'm going to apply a line. Okay, and then we're going to take that pencil brush again and just kind of clean it off. And then I'm going to take the dark plum and I'm going to use that to smudge out that line, especially in the outer part, to kind of create um, a little bit of depth. So now we're going to apply the same black liner to our waterline. And you can make it a little bit thicker on the outside. Okay, and then we're gonna take that taupe liner again. And then apply it um, to the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna pop on that gold color again to the taupe. They kind of get that shimmery shadow look on the bottom. And then you can take that plum. And then apply it really quickly to the outer corner. Okay, so then we finish the eyeshadow and I'm going to pop on some lashes. These are Ardell 107s and I'll be right back. Okay, so I popped the lash on and as you can see, it's still wet because you can still see the glue. So I'm going to let that dry and move on to the rest of the tutorial. So what I'm going to do is prime my face using the Palladio Herbal Foundation Primer. And now I'm going to apply the Palladio Herbal Foundation in Golden Beige. Next, I'm going to apply my concealer and I'm going to use Eve Pearl Concealer in Tan and I'm just going to pat it on with a synthetic brush. I'm going to apply the Palladio Herbal Liquid Concealer and this is in shade Banana and it's actually a concealer but I actually love it for using it as a liquid highlight so I'm going to apply some kind of like making a triangle and then I'm going to take my um, synthetic brush and just pat it in. You don't want to blend it like swipe it, you want to pat it so that way you can maintain the color. Okay, so I also applied the concealer down the center of my nose and on the middle of my forehead. And it just gives your skin a very nice, bright, highlighted look. So I really like it for that. So now I'm going to set with powder. I'm just going to use my Ben Nye Banana Powder and the um, bronzer brush from Palladio. 
and I'm gonna get that all over. I'm gonna use the Palladio Herbal Mosaic Powder to contour and I'm gonna use my MAC 109 and I'm gonna get the darker shades right in these two right here. And then I'm gonna contour. And then I'm gonna apply a blush. This is um, baked blush from Play-Doh called Chocolay. And I'm just gonna apply it with a fluffy angle brush. Okay, for the lips, I'm gonna first start out by applying a tinted lip balm in Champagne. And apply that to my lips. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of lipstick. This is Smoky Rose from Palladio to give me a little bit more of a pink color. And then back on top with the Champagne Tinted Lip Balm. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Uh, my Mila Kunis inspired look. It's not exactly the same, but it's kind of similar and inspired by her. I just kind of put my own twist on it, and I really wanted to use the whole Palladio line um, to create the look, and I think it came out pretty good. If you want to see what I did, um, what products I use and pictures, check out my blog at makeupbyrenren.com. You can find these products at Sally Beauty or online at palladiobeauty.com. And until next time, I hope you have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.